tu conta, tu 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 tu conta, Uyam tun tu 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 conta 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 uyam tun tu uyam tun tu Hello guys, welcome to Football Intel, and I am your agile host, Dominion Chooks. And of course, the NBC Premier League is once again upon us, and we saw Young Africans take on JKT Tanzania. Interesting game of football, two goals to nil in favor of JK, in favor of Young Africans. Beautiful game, beautiful game of football, and. Um, to me, this matchup was, <laughs> it was really very, very, very funny. Uh, the funniest moment of this matchup was the red card that was considered by the JKT Tanzanian goalkeeper. Funny, funny. But before we get right into it, JKT Tanzania and um, young Africans have met each other five times. Is it five times or four times? If I'm mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, I think it should be five times or four times. And in this uh, four times, I think four times they have met, young Africans have recorded three wins and one draw against JKT Tanzania, which simply means that JKT Tanzania have never defeated young Africans. So going into this one, the bookies bet was definitely on young Africans and they delivered. Uh, but the goals all came in the first half of the game. The second half of the game, there were no goals. All the two goals were scored in the first half of the game. So we saw at the at the, the first goal that was called by Paco Mezuzwa, that ball came. And of course, you saw the ball, that uh, cross that was given to him, and he wasted no time slotting the ball in. Beautiful goal, beautiful goal. You see, Paco Mezuzwa should have scored two goals in this game. I think he should have scored a brace in this game. Uh, but uh, it's, it's these things that do happen to players, you know. And, uh, but I think he played so, so well in the game. Scoring a goal and uh, was close to also scoring another one, but overall his performance was so 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 magical. Beautiful game of football. So at the 40 40 minutes, something very interesting happened, and that was <laughs> the JKT. I mean, I would ask myself, you're a professional goalkeeper. You can't tell me you don't know the rules. You are outside your box, you're outside your area. The area meant for the goalkeeper. You were outside that area. What you, should you have done? Ordinarily, I would have asked myself, what happened? Was it, he was, was it that he was tensed or what? You came out there. What you should have done? Use your legs to kick the ball out. What did he do? He ended up touching the ball with his hands, which is a foul. And according to the rules of football, doing that, you're definitely going to get a red card. And that was what happened to him. He got a red card and he was sent off. No two ways about that. No argument. We could even see the JKT Tanzania players. The way they were, the way they, we saw the way they were like, what's going on? You should have known better. You're a professional goalkeeper. You should know more than that. You left your area, you came out, and you touched the ball with your hands, which is not supposed to be. as against the rules of football. You should have known better. I feel that JKT Tanzania goalkeeper should have known better. He's a professional. So to me, I feel that was an unacceptable thing to do. How will you explain that? It's all right. So, the foul happened and it was sent off. And, uh, of course, definitely, when the keeper was sent off, definitely one player has to be sacrificed for the game to move on. And so we saw what happened. Um, a replacement came in from the JKT Tanzanian side, and uh, he went to the post. And, of course, at the foul, the dead ball situation there, we saw who came up to take that ball. No other person than Kratos Chama Jr., so he came, 
took that free kick and guess what guys he converted from the free kick direct to the post and then the keeper who came in had no chance and that was a goal two goals to nail wow and that was what ended the first half of the game coming into the second half of the game we saw Yanga pressing forward to get more goals and we saw the likes of as as his key coming into the game uh but he played so so well but uh there was little or nothing they could do no goals were added in the second half and that was how the game ended beautiful game of football and i know very well that the jkt tanzanian guys will be hitting themselves hard especially the goalkeeper he will be hitting himself because you could see how frustrated he was like there was nothing he could do there you see standing at akimbo his hands were on his waist he just knew that he messed up big time and uh, i just hope uh, he dusts himself from that mistake and then um moving forward he will be able to just put the pass behind him and then forge ahead uh congratulations once again to young africans i so much love these young africans these guys have shown that they are the team to beat this season they have shown that they are passionate and they have shown that they have a goal this season and i, I do not see to be frank with you truth be told i do not see anything that is stopping young africans this season this is their best chance and best opportunity to convert any tr trophy uh, 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 situation that comes their way. This is the best opportunity to convert all the trophy chances they have this time, this season. So this is a good time for them because they are in the form of their life. I would like to get your thoughts on this great matchup today. Let me know in the comment section how you feel about this great game. Drop your comments. Let us know. Follow us. And then tell us how you feel. And of course, do not forget your two-minute uh, video reactions. Very, very important. In the description box, you'll find our WhatsApp group below. Click on it and join the WhatsApp group. Do a two-minute video reaction to this matchup and drop it in our group. And we will likely post it on our YouTube page. To those of you that are joining us for the very first time, thank you so much for being part of us. We love you. Welcome to Football Intel, your shop blog when it comes to analyzing African games. And of course, African football games. Please do well to hit on the subscribe button and of course do not forget the notification bell. Select all notifications to be up to date with our latest content. And to those of you who are subscribers, a big thank you to you guys. Please keep liking, keep sharing, keep commenting. Remember the importance of those your comments. Till I come your way again next time, I still remain your host of Football Intel, Mr. Dominion Chooks. And uh, one more thing before we leave the studio. I have been doing analysis, uh, post-match analysis for some time here without my boss mr victor in the studio and that's because mr victor has been on the way on a business trip he has not been available he went out on a business trip and he's yet to return so i'm i'm saying this because of the comments i've been seeing in the comment section many people are asking if we have separated or if we are no longer working together no 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 no. that's not true he's currently not in town and um, he has been dropping his reactions for those of you who have been following he has been dropping his, his own reactions from his own end and i have been doing mine here in the studio so hopefully very very soon he's going to come back to the studio and trust me guys you know what's going to happen when he comes back we're going to keep to you guys banger you know the vibes that we create when we are together definitely he's coming back soon and we hope to have him back so that's the reason why we have not been running the contents together because of his unavailability unavoidably absent so and i hope this information i've given to you helps all right bye for now and asante tanzania